screen is 10 meters away, we're really creating about 50 minutes of a feature film. That amount of visual information, that number of pixels, and presenting them to the audience, it's a hell of a ride. Now we're back to our natural set, a lot of movies, TV shows, commercials, reality competitions and music videos have all filmed at this location. And speaking of music video, last year Blackpink Jisoo was here filming the music video of her solo song Flower. Uh, a lot of stars work here. This is where they work. And uh, speaking of stars, uh, get ready for some really classic scary stars. Uh, coming up on the right hand side, you see a monster's mural. Uh, the person behind this mural is world renowned graffiti artist Tristan Eaton. It is a colorful tribute to some of our classic monsters, Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, and his bride, the Wolfman and the Gilman. Now coming up on the right hand side, you'll see a really strange contraption that is our underwater tank. It allows the director, the crew, and most importantly, the camera to stay dry while they shoot for the hatches on the outside of the tank. You can see one of the hatches from here. Shows like Alias, Fear Factor, Seinfeld have all used this tank. And speaking of water, uh, there's a lake coming up on your left. Uh, it is coming up. And um, this body of water is what we call the Hollywood Ocean. Uh, here in 1973, we added the parting of the Red Sea to the tour, inspired by the classic film The Ten Commandments, a family picture. The star of the movie, Charlton Heston, made an appearance to part the waters for our guests. The glamour triumphs seem to drive right through the lake and give everybody on board a sea level view. There have also been exploding water mines, torpedoes, and across submarines as part of the action in the lake. In 1953, this uh, 54, this lake became the Amazon River in our pretty monster movie, Creature from the Black Lagoon. This year marks the 70th anniversary of this movie classic. Universal is home of the horror film in the monster movie. Our legacy stretches from Dracula in 1931 to the upcoming Dark Universe at Universal Epic Universe opening next year in Orlando. On the right hand side coming up, you see our little Europe. We invented the horror movie genre right here on the right hand side. That's why it's the most historic location on the lot. It is also versatile by changing the set decoration and the languages on the signs from different audiences across the globe to destinations such as Cairo, Egypt in the 1932 film The Mummy, Paris, France in the 1923 film The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Transylvania in the 1931 film Dracula starring Bella Lugosi. We're also taking you to the afterlife. Right now we are in the good place where the streets are lined with frozen yogurt shops and stores where everything fits. These were the exterior sets for our critically acclaimed comedy starring Ted Danson, Chris Bell, and many Jacinto. You, Eleanor Shellstra, are dead. Cool. This location, the afterlife, come on. I have never ever seen this. You're in the good place. I'm not supposed to be here. I can't risk going to the bad place. Well, maybe it's not all that bad. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. What a great show. On the right hand side, you can see uh, the blue VIP trolley. And this area is the court of miracles. Uh, quaint European uh, street sets were originally created as Germany. And 1930 for our first Academy Award winning Best Picture, All Quiet on the Western Front. All Quiet on the Western Front is our first ever Best Picture Oscar winner. Um, our most recent is Oppenheimer Universal it has a total of 11 Best Picture Oscar winners. Oppenheimer is our first Best Picture to come here on the lot and inside sound 